about James Harden and your colleague Tim McMahon's story. Um, you know, obviously it's somebody else who wrote it. Uh, did anything that uh, come out of that story leap out at you, surprise you, or something? This is this is industry known. What's been going on with Houston and and Harden, Brian? Well, Tim McMahon is a is a bulldog reporter who is completely fearless. So he he reports these types of stories all the time. Although um, this one is pretty special. Um, <laughs> right. You know, um, it's it's not it's not unusual. You know, star treatment in the NBA. Um, uh, especially over the last decade, um, for star players to dictate practice schedules, to dictate travel schedules. <laughs> I mean, I remember when I first started covering the NBA, teams flew out after every game. If they were if they were on the road, they traveled after every night. They didn't care if it was January in Los Angeles and your next stop was Salt Lake City. You traveled, and that is no longer the norm. And and star players have driven that. Um, you know, LeBron, uh, back in his first go-around in Cleveland, was getting uh, changes in travel schedules. That is not unusual. There's certain star treatment that has certainly been paid to Kawhi Leonard uh, by the L.A. Clippers. So um, those stories um, really aren't surprising. I think what Tim is pointing out is that, you know, the Rockets really – uh, were not just giving James those special privileges, but really letting him dictate over major decisions that happened in the roster. And, you know, sometimes, you know, you know, look, LeBron James wanted Anthony Davis. He pretty much was willing to, he made it pretty clear. It's willing to trade the whole team for Anthony Davis, which they did. It turned out pretty good. Um, it's not unique to Harden, but um, it hasn't worked out. Um, for Harden, he, you know, while he has been spectacular over the last six or seven years, he hasn't delivered at the highest level in the playoffs. And now the Rockets uh, situation is very badly eroded and Harden is a root cause. And you have to assess the collateral damage from that. And it makes for a complicated situation. And more importantly, Rich, if you're out there and you want to and you want to trade for James Harden, you are seeing this story. You probably had a pretty good idea of this anyway. Right. But you are seeing this story. You are learning about this. You are looking at a guy who is not dedicated to his conditioning. You're looking at a guy who turned on a $100 million extension and then didn't dedicate to his conditioning, who is putting his team – his teammates and his coach in a horrible position, and he's basically saying, okay, come trade for me. It's a, it's pushing the limits of the star power of NBA pretty much to its nth degree. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.